Okay, here we go. 20. Let's just see. I think that I want to just ask you a couple of questions about the charge. You don't have any dispute that everything that we've talked about today occurred on September the 6th, 2018, right? It did occur. On September the 6th, 2018? Yes, sir. And that this entire event happened in Dallas County, Texas? It did happen in you Dallas. Are Amber Geiger. I am Amber Geiger. The victim in this case, the complainant in this case is Botham Shem Jean, right? Yes, he is. And you shot and killed Mr. Jean with your gun. I did. I right? did. I did. And that your gun is a firearm, is that right? Yes, it is. And you've already testified previous to now that it was your intent to do exactly that. Yes, it was. Oh my God. You attended the escalation training, haven't you? Yes, sir, I have. As a matter of fact, you attended the escalation training in April, just a few months before this particular event, didn't you? I don't remember when the last time I did. Do you want me to show you or do you believe me? You can show me. You're trying to put me in prison. I don't believe anything you're saying. Yes, sir. Does that refresh your recollection of when you took de-escalation? Yes, sir. What was the date? 4-25 of 2018. How many hours was that class? Eight hours. That was important to you, wasn't it? Yes, sir. You understand that... Uh, Policing as a whole is trying to adopt more of a de-escalation approach when circumstances permit, right? It does. And in that particular case, in that particular class, um, did you pay attention? I don't remember everything they went over in that class. Right. Do you recall them emphasizing to you take advantage of time to buy time so that additional resources can be obtained for your safety and for the safety of the people that you're dealing with i don't remember hearing that then all right do you recall do you recall that class the criteria about anything turning assumptions into facts i do not well tell me what it is i'll tell you what instead of me telling you going through the curriculum what did you get from that class I don't remember what was said. It's been a while since I've taken that class. But you're supposed to attend these classes and then take from them tools and tips that you can take out into the community so that you can be a better police officer, right? Yes, sir. And you understand the escalation is vitally important, especially to major segments of our community. I do, sir. So oh, especially. So the law isn't the law. It's only especially to certain segments of our community. I wonder what that means. Anybody want to want to clear? Anybody else want to come here and tell me this trial isn't about color? We've got training to where the DA specifically says that escalate de-escalation is really important to certain segments. So it's not important to everybody, only certain segments. Really, another check marks, and this DA is a punk. So what did you take from that class? I can't. I can't remember back then. It's been over a year. Did you change any of the way in which you did business before after no. taking that class? No, I could still, like then it would be easier to remember, not now. This is smoke and mirrors BS. He's just, remember, the longer he can keep her on a stand, the longer he can hope that she misspeaks, the longer that he can say what her testimony was and get her to agree with him, the longer he can badger her without the judge or the other attorney stopping him, the worse she looks for the jury. And when you ain't got no case, that's sometimes all you got is to beat up the dumb client. Um, on September the 6th, 2018, Ms. Geiger, were you in good health? Yeah, I would say so, yes, sir. Okay, you, you worked out, you kept yourself in good physical shape, is that fair to say? Yes, sir. Uh, you weren't feeling ill that particular day? Just normal. All right, uh, your vision. You have good vision, don't you? Yes, sir. You had the LASIK procedure done, didn't you? I did. And that actually made your eyes, was it better than 2020? I don't know what it what it is. Okay. But you got no vision issues? Mm, no, I don't think so. 
Your hearing is good? Yes, sir. Your ability to smell okay? Yes, sir. Uh, you had lived in Southside Flats for a little less than... Can somebody tell me if her smell has anything to do with using deadly force on somebody? Is he implying that the person she shot smelled a certain way and he smelled her? She smelled him and that's why she shot... How the hell do you get to question somebody about their sense of smell when it has absolutely nothing to do with this trial without the other attorney or the judge stopping it? Now, judges normally don't stop lawyers. If they want to run off and the other lawyer wants to let them, they usually let them. I think it's BS. I think the judge is there to, to look out for everybody in justice and doing the right thing, but obviously not. In two months when the shooting happened, right? Yes, sir. And you testified on direct that the way that you came into your apartment every day was going down that main hallway by the elevator, correct? Yes, sir. Um, so every single day for two months, probably at least twice a day, you would walk past that decorative urn that Miss Lee had out in front of her apartment, right? Um, I mean, there's probably something there, but I never paid attention to anything that they had on this, their doormats. Again, you, you're, you're a, a five-year veteran police officer who has a, a necessary and critical aspect of which is observational skills and situational awareness, and you're telling me that you have never once noticed. I probably noticed it, but I didn't ever, it, it was just there. It was something you, it was probably commonly there, but you never stared at it for a long period of time. You also know where the apartment numbers are on the signs next to the door, right? In the top left. Right. I mean, it's, it's not like uh, you're a first-time person coming in. You know, and you knew on September the 6th, 2018, exactly where apartment numbers are located on the sign post. Yes, sir. All right. Boy, let me tell you, this DA is still trying to say that she intended to go in there and kill him and it wasn't a mistake. How can anybody in her right mind believe that she did not make a mistake and go to the wrong apartment? I mean, it's just crazy. I'm going through the backpack that you had on September the 6th. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Um, Ma'am, are the contents of this backpack as they exist in this courtroom right now going to be the contents that existed on September the 6th, 2018? Yes, sir. So inside your backpack, which... I wouldn't have said yes, sir. I don't know what you guys did with it. You seized it the night. Check the chain of custody. I don't know what's in that bag. It hasn't been in my custody. You took all the way into apartment 1478, right? Yes, sir. And do you recall that this backpack and your heavy vest and your lunch pail was put down next to Mr. Jean? Yes, sir. Uh, so you had this right within arm's reach in that five minutes of time when you could have been giving him your full attention. Yes, sir. Inside this backpack, you've got something. Five minutes time where she could have, would have, should have, maybe been giving him attention. So let me get this straight. In five minutes, she was supposed to shoot somebody, get in the apartment, figure out he's dead, figure out she's in the wrong apartment, call 911, go outside, find out what, what apartment she was in, talk the cops in, get them in there, stay on the phone with 911, and this guy is making it seem like she was sitting in a recliner 
eating a guy's ice cream while he bled out when she didn't go in her bag and give first aid. Really? Man, I really hope the jurors are not that freaking stupid. ...called combat gauze, right? Yes. yes, sir. This is for treating a person who has been injured, isn't that correct? Yes, sir. And it says on there, for temporary external use to control traumatic bleeding. Yes, sir. Would you agree that Mr. Zahn was bleeding horribly? from the gunshot wound that you put into his chest. I don't recall much blood, sir. You See, he didn't know the answer. He's just fishing. He's going to go through this bag. His main goal is I'm going to keep her up here and I'm going to keep trying to make her look stupid and foolish. And every chance I get, I'm going to slam her, even though it has nothing to do. The fact that she has gauze in there has nothing to do with her force to use deadly force was authorized or not. It's a total smear, bullshit, waste of the jury's time, waste of everybody's time trying to look cool because you get to pick on somebody that can't fight back. Absolutely not relevant whatsoever on whether she was justified to use force or not. You were able to tell the responding officers exactly where the bullet wound is. How would yes. you have known that had you not looked? Like, what do you mean? Like, I knew he was shot somewhere. You told them exactly where like, he was shot. Top left. Right. How would you have known that if you hadn't... See, he's fishing. He says, okay, she said there wasn't a lot of blood. Well, let me just try to go this. Maybe I can get her, because she's already admitted to other stupid shit. I'll just keep talking, keep asking useless questions, keep badgering her about shit that has nothing to do with whether or not she's innocent or guilty. And maybe I'll just get something to where I can go, well, you lied to the jury, you messed for a presenter, we can't trust you. Don't get caught up in this if you're on a stand, people. I have looked to where he had been shot. I knew where he was shot. How, would, how, from the time that you shot him? No, when I turned on the lights. Okay, so did you look at the bullet wound? Yes, I did. Okay, so you knew he was injured with a bullet, right? Yes, I did. And a person bleeds when they're injured with a bullet, correct? Yes, they do. See, he's making this all about the gauze and the bullet wound, and she knew it was a wound, when in fact she's already said, look, I was panicking, I was trying to talk him in, I didn't give it. It has nothing to do, this is the non-evidence to whether or not she was justified to shoot. Once she uses deadly force, the only thing that can be used is what she knew at the time when she used the force she used. It doesn't matter what she finds out later, and it doesn't matter what she coulda woulda done after she used deadly force. This is a murder trial. This is not a first aid trial. But obviously, nobody gives a shit because he can go anywhere he wants. Hell, I'm surprised he ain't got to when her last menstrual period is and whether or not she changed her tampon and if she coulda and woulda and shoulda. What the hell? Is there a reason why you didn't use this this stuff right here, which is designed to control traumatic bleeding. It never crossed my mind. It didn't even cross your mind? No, sir. Even though he's bleeding in front of you? No. And this is inches from you? It did not cross my mind. It never crossed your mind to use this? No, sir. This is the first aid kit that's also included in there, right? Yes, sir. And you did it ever cross your mind not to eat that last donut? And any time when you're walking by donuts, does it cross your mind, Mr. D.A., that maybe you shouldn't eat that last donut? Really? Are you kidding me? We've got more of that exact same stuff in here. Hemostat gauze dressing for bleeding control. Yes, sir. That's also unopened, isn't it? Yes, sir. So... Other than, I'm trying to understand this, other than... He's not trying to understand anything. He's trying to figure out how I can use this to manipulate the jury into thinking that she's a bad person because in a crisis of a moment when she came home and found somebody and used deadly force and she was panicking and out of her freaking mind and didn't do what a reasonable person would do, like he's trying to make it out, it would be reasonable for somebody to go, oh, I just killed somebody I'm in the wrong apartment. Eh, you know what? I'll let me just go into my trusty bag, grab my first aid kit, and start giving first aid. Jesus Christ, really? And with just one hand, periodically 
with interruptions doing some compressions. Did you really do anything else to try and help Mr. John? The sternum rub. Notice the disgusted look, the disdained look of this worthless piece of crap woman who didn't do anything. She should go to prison for 99 years. Not because she violated the law, because she had an affair and because she had a first aid kit and didn't use it. That's why we should send her to prison. Really? That's your case, Mr. Hot Shit DA? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, Ms. Geiger. Thank you, sir. This guy sent her to prison, just got her to admit that she meant to kill him when actually she didn't. She just said it to get him off her back, and she thanked him afterwards. To me, that's sad. I mean, that's really sad. She, she, I, I mean, I really feel sorry for her. And I know people are going to think, oh, Rick, you just want to sleep with her. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is, she got zero representation. This guy was allowed to beat her up and abuse his position and just pull up shit that he shouldn't have been allowed to get away with. And the judge and the other attorney allowed it. And she was pretty much hung out to dry on that stand. And I don't like seeing that. I don't care who it is. Remember when you were walking there? Go ahead. You know what? I, I think he's going to do a cross on her. I'm at 16 minutes we'll, or 17 minutes. All right, we'll make it another one.